Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Two years back, in July 2021, the Ministry of Defense formally issued an RFE for construction of six submarines worth 43,000 crore under strategic partnership model. The foreign partner will be called collaborator or supporter and Indian partner will be known as strategic partner. More than 60% worth of project is going to be invested in the Indian industry. MOD has selected Mazgaon Dock Ship Builders Limited, that is MDL, and LNT as its strategic partners. The two Indian shipyards would have to collaborate with shortlisted foreign OEM who are competing in the project, which includes Russia's Rubin Design Bureau with Amur 1650, France Naval Group with the conventional Barracuda design, Spain's Navencia with S80, Germans. TKMS STW214 and South Korea's DSME with the DSME 3000. Almost two years have passed, however, India has yet to finalize the foreign OEM for its next generation conventional submarines. The stringency of the timelines in RFP and requirement of tested and proven AIP system fitted on a submarine and it should be operational is the major reason for disqualification of France and Russia, which has already withdrew from the Project 75i. Only two OEMs, DSME of South Korea and TKMS of Germany is fully qualified. Navencia from Spain has launched its first S80 Plus class of submarine in the year 2023, which is having AIP system based on bioethanol processor. The submarine is undergoing sea trials, therefore Navencia may also get qualified but over the course of time but not at present. South Korea which is also one of the two major contenders for Project 25i seems to have problems. As per reports, the Korean banks will not allow firm to bid as there are a lot of financial risk involved in the RFP. Further, the South Korean firm DSME is still awaiting government approval for the sale of submarines to India. This brings Germany ahead in the competition, but it would be a single vendor situation to avoid this, the Ministry of Defense has asked TKMS of Germany to make two separate bids, one for MDL and another for LND. Interestingly, the collaboration with TKMS is not something new for MDL. Indian Navy is currently operating four Sishumar class or Type 209 class of submarines. The first two vessels were built by TKMS in Germany, while the remaining two were assembled by Mazgao Dock under a transfer of technology agreement, but with very little indigenous content. A multidisciplinary design team were also formed and trained for almost two years in Germany to acquire knowledge of SW submarine design with access to relevant software, design data, empirical formula, linked values of design coefficients and were considered capable enough for designing a conventional submarine. This team now forms the backbone of Submarine Design Group, a premier organization of the Indian Navy. But the irony is that India still cannot design its indigenous submarine. However, You'd be surprised to know that South Korean firm DSME, which is a contender for Post 25i, has designed its submarine based on transfer of technology of the same type 209 class of submarine from Germany. Of course, DSME has further refined the design. Now, one more reason for Germany being a strong contender for Post 25i is their fuel cell based AIP propulsion. The AIP system developed and deployed by TKMS has no moving parts. That makes the detection of such submarines virtually impossible. SW class 212 and 214 and SW class Dolphin submarines are powered by SW fuel cell based AIP system. The operational fuel cell based AIP is one of the main criteria of Indian Navy where SW class fits pretty well. On 6 June 2023, Indian and German defense ministers are going to discuss on the Pers 25i submarine. The Defense Minister Shijaj Nath Singh will hold bilateral defense talks with his counterpart from US and Germany. The Defense Minister will hold talks with US Secretary Defense Lloyd Austin on June 5th, while the meeting with his German counterpart is scheduled a day later. During his conversation with German counterpart, the Indian Defense Minister is expected to discuss deal for construction of six conventional submarines under Pers 25i. During his four-day visit in India, the German Defense Minister will also meet a few defense startups during an event organized by IDEX in New Delhi. On 7 June, he will travel to Mumbai to visit headquarters of Western Naval Command and Mazgaon Dock Shipbuilders Limited. This was today's update. 
please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector